and if you think about the 1970s as a, as a period, you've got rock music in there, you've got pop music in there, you've got, um, you've got uh, the ska going and reggae, you know, you've got two-tone turning up, you've got electronica, uh, you've got disco, you've got all sorts of stuff. There's so, you know, almost it seemed like there was another, um, another new thing coming out every week. And I remember at uh, my school, they, they, they had um, uh, a sports centre and it started housing bands. And around that time, they had Slade play there. They had the two-tone store, the specials. So you got that. Um, Bow Wow Wow played. Um, I don't know what's played there. Tigers of Pantang, Saxon. So you got the kind of the new wave of British heavy metal bands playing, uh, but also things like two-tone scenes. So to me, all that stuff was just, um, it was just anything good of its kind, you know, good music, you know. So it, it was, um, yeah, I, just, I guess I identified with a new wave of British heavy metal because that was kind of being targeted. It had people, ex Deep Purple members in different bands and, you know, Blackmore's Rainbow and all this business and Gillen and bands like that and White Snake, of course. I'd get my kind of pocket money or whatever, go into Nottingham, go into the giveaways and kind of buy an album for like 199. And the prog albums always had very interesting covers. You know, they always looked quite ornate and beautiful objects. So I remember picking up things like Foxtrot for 199, a second hand copy of that. You know, take these things home and uh, in those days to listen to music, it was a headphone experience, you know, so you get the album on, you're sitting in the armchair, headphones on, gatefold open and off you go, you know, following the words and suddenly you're, you're immersed in this entire world.